Hey, it's Philip here, the Curly Marketer. I'm so sorry for being away for so long. We got a new puppy five months ago. It has been life-changing, but the house has been turned upside down. I think all of my shoes have been eaten. Uh, there's multiple wires, which I think are critical to the house. They've been eaten, so uh, it's quite incredible, the appetite of this young dog. Uh, but she's beautiful, we love her, we're all okay. The only thing I think that's different is I've got grayer hair. So maybe I should call myself the gray-haired marketer, but that's beside the fact. Enough about me. What am I here to talk about? Well, as you all know, my hashtag is hashtag curly marketer tip, and I will be sharing videos with you that were giving you guidance and advice along a range of social media topics. But when I went back and looked over them, I found, wow, some of those videos were like nine minutes long. And with the best will in the world, I just don't think people wanna watch a nine minute video of me talking. So I've created a new hashtag to complement curly marketer tip called hashtag social bite size. I'm gonna be coming at you with quick short tip videos I watch a range of maybe social media topics app reviews even tips how to use your iPhone video or camera and I hopefully you will find these tips of real benefit and they'll be much shorter videos so today what am I talking about well it's about Instagram stories and how to turn off the automatic sharing of your Instagram stories to your Facebook stories so stay tuned So, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, automatic sharing. Why would you want to turn it off? Well, your Facebook community could be very different to your Instagram community. And if you're creating a story for your Instagram audience, it may just not be relevant for the Facebook audience because of the content. So obviously you don't want the story automatically publishing on your Facebook story. The other good example as well is that if you created an IGTV video and you are linking your story, uh, to that video and you put on the swipe up sticker and um, if you share that Instagram story over to your Facebook story the swipe up function will not be there and once again will confuse your audience now as far as I'm aware there's potentially there is some verified Instagram account holders account holders who have more than 10,000 followers who potentially have this swipe up function but for the majority of us as far as I'm aware that is not available. Now that may change, but at the moment, I don't think that is there. So it's something to be mindful of. So how do you turn this off? Well, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. So to turn off automatic sharing of an Instagram story to Facebook stories, go to your Instagram. I'm here in my story. Click on the gear icon in the top left. Scroll down, you'll see that it says, share your story to Facebook. If I clicked it on, it would automatically share photos and videos from Instagram stories to Facebook stories but if I don't want them to be automatically shared, click it off. I hope you found this social bite size and curly marketer tip useful. So I hope you found this social bite size tip, curly marketer tip useful. As always, my website is thecurlymarketer.com. I'm on all the social channels and I hope you like this new type of video, social bite size giving you quick snippets that you can take away today. And I'll see you again soon for another curly marketer tip, social bite size tip. Take care.